guys, welcome back to another episode with me. We are here in Ewa Women's University. How beautiful is it? I'm here today to meet another new friend. Her name is Rokaya. She's from Union Island and she just moved here about six months ago. She wants to start a new life, a new career. So I'm going to take her cafe hopping today. So let's come along and meet her. Nice to finally meet you. Yes, thank you so much for coming all the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Have you had breakfast? Yeah, a yeah? bit. Just okay, a bit. but let's, you know, I hope you have space in your tummy because I'm going to take out I have today. Space. Yeah? I have space. Okay, so you like cafes? Yeah, I do. Have I you do managed like to explore cafes? Not yet. We're living a busy life here, so let's yeah, collab. Now, yeah. thanks to you, I can okay, just explore. So I think we should go to our first cafe and then we can have get to know you a little bit better then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, come let's on, let's go. Yeah. So Kaya, I would love to know how did you end up here in Korea? Well, uh, I first did a business school okay. and then I learned Chinese. Oh. So while learning Mandarin? Chinese, yeah, Mandarin, yeah. yeah. I came across Korea okay. through dramas and friends. Oh, so Korean drama. Yeah, okay, so, just like the rest of the world. Yeah. <laughs> First, yeah, I think the first meetup is like yeah, yeah, the one. drama, yeah. Yeah, and then as I was, I was lucky to do a exchange semester in China. I was okay. like, I'm so passionate about it, but I want to know like reality. Yes. So I came here four years ago. Okay. And I was like, mm, as, a as a holiday, as a holiday, yeah, as a tourist, okay. and I liked it, the feeling I got yeah. from that, from that moment. So yeah. I was like, I should come back here and try to live as a like you know Local? Korean lifestyle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, what about the company that you work with? What do you do? Like I'm creating managing. and managing the website. Okay. And right now we have... Uh, so I'm in charge of all the Asian area, Asian ah, and Chinese area okay. of my company. Okay. They already established their French audience mm -hmm. and I'm in charge of the Asian audience. And my yeah. position was kind of... Um, let's say really lucky to have it because ah. they were they wasn't supposed to be someone. I see. <laughs> yeah, they weren't supposed well, to be that it's position. Your risky then, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It was really. Meant I think to Allah be. answered your du'a from yeah. the first time you watched the Korean yeah. drama till now you have a career here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Kaya, tell me, are you more of like a coffee drinker or a tea drinker? I'm more a tea, tea drinker. What tea drinker? Yeah, I'm, okay. I was used, since I was a kid, I was used to chai, like, you know, oh, milk chai. and tea. Oh, yeah. yes. That's so, big in Malaysia. We yeah. love chai latte. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was my childhood drink yeah. every day. So. Okay. So why did you choose your vanilla latte today? Because vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah, Madagascar has a lot of oh, vanilla yeah, culture. Oh right. so. yeah, right. Okay, it's reminding you a little bit of home, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So, okay. I love this cafe and I, I notice how cafes here, they're always very pretty. Why do you think Koreans, like, I think they make it very important for them to have things very nice looking, right? Because let's simply, simply put it, okay. Korea doesn't have a culture for, you know, for couples when they move in together okay. because it's a really conservative country, okay. still conservative oh, culture. Great. Great. So great. because great. of that, a lot of cafes are made for couples usually. Ah, this is why, you I know, see. it's so good looking. It's so because see. they just want, you know, when wow, that's whenever a couple, whenever yeah. couple, you know, they don't, they cannot just hang out at home. Yeah. So they just go to cafe or yeah. they go to, you know, yeah. uh, karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. This is why cafes are so popular. But there's so coffee. many, there's so many Let cafes. me know how it is because mine is really good. And in Korea, I noticed they don't have... That's okay. Probably. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, not too sweet? No, it's okay. I like my coffee without sugar because <laughs> I'm a bit um, healthy. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first cafe I found actually that have soy milk. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh. I'm lactose intolerant. So my, I'm, my I'm grandma happy. loves soy milk, so she oh, drinks yeah? it. But okay. I'm not a big fan of Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, that's let's, good. Yeah, good. let's enjoy our coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I find you to be a very, mashallah, independent woman. <laughs> you, you work, you save your Thank own you, money and you move mashallah. to another country. So yeah. do you think that your parents um, upbringing, the fact that your mom was working, do you think that influenced you to oh, kind yeah, of just go did. for it? Yeah, I was, you know, I was very loved and yeah. I'm really blessed and thankful oh, to do that. Yeah. I was really grateful yeah. to be loved during my childhood from both my parents. Yeah. And, you know, all the love, all the support they gave me, yeah, yeah. that pushed me through to realize yeah. our project. Yeah, I think, I think at the end of the day, when you have support from home, 
yeah. it kind of pushes you to yeah, have it gives that you the energy, the to energy and to be brave, right? Yeah. To go for it. Yeah, yeah that's it's good. good. Alhamdulillah, you have your family to for it. Yeah. So, Rukaya, how long have you actually been here? Oh, I've been here six months. Okay. I came to Korea back in September yeah, and, and I started working three months ago. Oh, so it's only been three months? It's only been three okay. months, yeah. If you don't mind me asking, I want to know how is it like working here as a Muslim, wearing oh, the hijab? I would say it's really, I'm really happy in my workplace right now really? because okay. I can wear my hijab comfortably. That's yeah, great. and the company really acknowledged me and accepted me the way I am, yeah. which was not the case in France, I would say. It's, it's quite hard as so well. So you feel like over here you have a much better working experience? Yeah, exactly. It's a really friendly environment. Yeah, exactly. Can you share what was it like working in France that you didn't feel comfortable? Well, uh, my skill were definitely needed, but I would either way have to take out my hijab or just put it, you know, in a fashion way like like I these. See. Yeah. In a turban style. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I yeah. wouldn't be, you know, me. Yeah, <laughs> because this is me. So but you, you know, was, yeah. I, it, like a company should accept you the way you are, and you know, obviously grow your skill. Yeah. But in France. It would be really difficult to do that. Mm. And so, where do you see yourself growing, like with the company? Well, for now, I think I'm really like going to toward the digital marketing digital thing. Marketing. Yeah, digital marketing fields, and I keep growing toward that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Do you think like being the only Muslim in the company does it help to expose other people to what Islam is oh, all yeah, about? Oh yeah, definitely it does. Yeah. Help. Do you get questions asked? Oh, I do get some time. Sometimes, you know, it's quite challenging to yeah. answer it. But yeah, I do get some com questions. Thank yeah. God I just found a company that accepts me and, you know, I found yeah. a good match. Yeah. But like compared to Korean company, I don't think it would have made any difference. I because see. on Instagram and, you know, looking at other yeah. Muslim women here yeah. from different countries, Arab, like Egypt yes, or Syria, yes, yes. they also made it as well. Mm. They also found company that accept them the way they are, they you know, are. regarding to their skills. Yeah. So yeah. definitely. I love it. I love to be known for the skill that we have and not what we're wearing, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's nice. So at work, when it comes to salat time, right? Yeah. How, where, where do you do it? So what I do usually is because my office is quite small, Okay. but we have separate desks. Ah, so my boss is like on a cubicle? No, 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 no. It's like an apartment, but ah, we just okay. made it around I see, the uh, I office. See. Okay. So my desk office is literally on that, side, on that side, on the left side, yeah. I am on the right side. Okay. So usually when you know I have the like as a notification, yes. I'll just quietly just stop my work and just okay. pray quietly on my desk. I see. And then that's it. And no one even notices it. Oh, uh, because I'm right. so quiet about it. Yeah. I don't yeah. like if then if let's say my boss leave early and then it's my grip time, okay. then I'll just pray normally. Okay. But okay. if it's just like during the offer, I'll just sit on my desk and yeah. just pray. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Just make it part of your day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it, I mean, yeah. inshallah, they won't have a problem with it. I don't as think well. they yeah. will have yeah. because I'm minding my business. He's doing also his meditation. Yeah. About, he, was talking, he was talking about lunar meditation and oh, he's being wow, part of okay. a group. We all share, you know, all different beliefs, but yeah. we just work and together. Understand and respect each other. Exactly. Yeah. Where the next cafe we're going? No, not really. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> what is you're, it? You're in for a surprise. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's not. Look, look, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> <laughs>